I walk into class and take my seat. For once, I'm actually not that upset to be here. Feels odd. As I start to open my book, I feel a tap on my shoulder. I turn around in my seat. Hey man, where have you been? This is... unexpected. <laughs> uh, came down with something. It was pretty bad. I'm feeling better now, though. Ah, uh, alright. Honestly, it kind of shocked me. I didn't expect anyone to even notice I was gone. Well, when you get used to having to look at the back of someone's head for a quarter of the school year, you start to notice when they're gone. <laughs> Fair point. Let's laugh for a bit before the teacher comes into class. I turn around and open my book. Ah, see? You guys thought he was the new MC. <laughs> that guy from the teaser! <laughs> Yeah, I laughed. I thought it was hilarious that people thought that he was going to replace MC. I was like, that would be evil. I would never. <laughs> like, even if MC actually died, I would never replace him. Because, like, I feel like people would hate that concept. That would be a terrible concept. They'd be like, I hate this guy. Why is this guy now here? You know, yeah, I would never replace him. That is the worst thing to do after killing off a character is to replace them with some new dude. <laughs> I thought it was going to be a model swap. Yeah, that too. Actually, I never talked about that. Um, I purposely didn't swap it because I've said this before, but I never actually like officially said it. Uh, I prefer the like fan MC over the prototype MC. <laughs> I, I, I feel like he's better. I don't really like the prototype MC all that much. I'm going to be real with you. <laughs> Dude, like He's eh. I don't know. I don't really like him. <laughs> I I I I I feel like the fa I feel like like the fan MC that people made I feel like it fits his character more than Proto MC does, which is probably why Proto MC was a prototype and never got anywhere further than that. <laughs> he's too Chad. Yeah, like he's a little too bulky. Yeah, I was like, I think that's why he stayed a prototype and they never did anything else with him. Cause yeah, he's too eh. It's like uh, it's like I like the fan MC more. I feel like he fits the character better. So that's why we weren't like so that's why we weren't gonna like change sprites to be that MC. Also, that MC doesn't even have that many poses either. So <laughs> he also doesn't have much expressions either. Huh? Is that the bell? Yeah, exactly. Too. Yeah, the fan MC looks like a stock light novel protagonist. Exactly. <laughs> Prototype MC is too buff. It's like he's not a loser. <laughs> like, you're gonna tell me that guy's a loser. <laughs> like, that guy's the equivalent of the JoJo meme of I'm just a normal high school kid. <laughs> and he's like buff as fuck. <laughs> I'll say, like, the fan in MC, in my opinion, fits way better. Well, that's just my opinion. Wow, can't believe my first day back went by so fast. I do think he works really good as another character, though, which is why I'm using him. I do really like the sprite. Standing up from my seat, I feel a faint, a paint, a faint pain in my abdomen. I'm sure I'll be entirely, I'm sure I'll be entirely gone soon. Start walking to the door. I wonder how everyone is doing. Hey, wait up! I stop and look behind me. The guy who I talked to earlier walks up to me once he's finished packing his bag. Glad to see you're feeling better, man. I'm not gonna lie, I was slightly worried something bad happened to you. You have no idea. Yeah, I guess I was gone for a while. Sorry to worry ya. <laughs> eh, it's no big deal. The name's Shinji, by the way. Zero. Zero? <laughs> what a weird name. You can name yourself Shinji and he'll still say it's a weird name. <laughs> it's just funny, I don't know. Yeah, they say your name's weird no matter what you name yourself. He thinks your name's weird. You can be named Shinji and he'll still say your name's weird. He hates himself. <laughs> we'll start walking out of the classroom together. So, you heading home? There's the teaser image. Oh! There it is, chat. Also, I don't know. I feel like I don't know if I mentioned this. Look, chat, we've been unlocking things in the gallery because we've solved them. Look, ooh. Look at the clipboard again. 
Also, I forgot to mention, I forgot to mention, there's fan art. We've unlocked some fan art. Unlock some fan art, chat. Uh, now, there are some requirements for this fan art. I don't know if I'll say them all, though. Because some of them are spooky. <laughs> but yeah, we gotta, we, I contacted some artists who made fan art and, you know, I credited them. And there you can see who made the fan art. Some, there's some secret art, too. Some promo art you can look at. Yeah. Like, there's this promo art that you should have. It's like the first promo art for the mod. Yeah. And yeah, this is help him. Yeah, he's in he's in the chat. There he is. Yo, it's my art. Yeah, so far I've unlocked that one and this. You'll have you should have these if you play through chapter one and two. The other ones are I'm unlocked in other means. <laughs> but yeah. Cause I skipped I skipped uh chapter one and two to get to this gallery. I mean it's I skipped chapter one and two just so that you guys could get the experience of if you played this right after. Yeah, so mm. So, yeah, gnome? Eh, not yet. I actually have to go to... Hi, Zero! Ah! <laughs> this is where we're about to turn a corner. Sari jumps out in front of me. Sari! How long are we waiting here? Oh, I just got out of class. <laughs> Looks like I caught you just in time. <laughs> yeah, just in time to give me a heart attack. So, are you ready to go? You haven't been to the club in forever! Club? I didn't know you were in a club. You didn't even know me until today, Shinji. <laughs> Shinji's not very bright. <laughs> Whoa! You made a new friend! Hi, I'm Sayori. She instantly extends her hand forward for him to shake. Which she ends up doing with a smile. Hey, Sayori. I'm Shinji. Ooh, that's a cool name. Do you want to join the literature club? Sayori! <laughs> she glances over at me, entirely clueless of what she did wrong. You can't just ask people stuff like that out of the blue. Literature club, huh? No thanks, uh, literature isn't really for me. Sorry. That's okay. Zero sucks at literature too. She looks over at me, to which I only reply with a glare. <laughs> you guys are great. But hey, I gotta go. My club's about to start a meeting. Oh? What club is it? The anime club. Get your round, Zero. It was nice meeting you, Sayori. And with that, Shinji begins to run down the hall. Huh. I didn't know our school had an anime club. I should have known that before joining the literature club. Hey! <laughs> Zero swiftly pinches my arm. Ow! I was kidding! Jeez. Hehe. <laughs> walking down the hall towards the club. So, did I miss anything in the club while I was gone? Anything I need to catch up on? Uh, I don't think so. According to Monica, the club wasn't really that active while you were gone. Oh, well, lucky me. I've got enough homework to do. Don't get too excited. Monica can still give us things to do if she wants to, you know. Ah, uh, right. Okay, you're walking too slow. Let's go! Well, hey! She grabs my arm and practically drags me down the hall with her. You know, you think by now I'd be used to this sort of thing. Hey, everyone! He's here! She sells this to the rest of the club as she violently drags me inside. <laughs> sorry, you're hurting my wrist. <laughs> oh, sorry! How are you feeling, Zero? Pretty good, honestly. I've only been feeling a slight pain here and there. And that's very good to hear. Wow, that fast? Yeah, it kind of surprised me too. That's only partially true. I'm impressed with my recovery rate, but it's expected. Well, it's good to have you back, Zero. But before we begin today, may I speak to you privately for a moment? Oh, yeah. Sure, Monica. I follow her as she leaves the club room. Do you mind us going to the roof? Not really. But do you mind telling me why you want to go up there? Just in case anyone happens to be around. I guess that gives me a clue on what this is about. Probably going to tell me to be extra careful and stuff since I'm wounded. She's cute when she's worried. We head up the stairs to the roof. 
<laughs> a buff weeb must be a bro who's just coming out as a weeb. <laughs> yeah, bro, he's a he's, 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 he's a buff weeb, bro. I gently close the door behind me once we're outside. Look over at Monica, who has her back toward me. She takes a deep breath before turning around to face me. However, she fails to make eye contact. And almost as if she's afraid to. I'm starting to think my hunch from earlier was wrong. So, what did you want to talk to me about? I'm sorry. Huh? I... I don't think I feel comfortable doing this anymore. C comfortable doing what? Patrolling the city. Being a... Vigilante. I... Can't do it anymore. Ever since you were injured, I haven't patrolled once. That's two whole weeks of me not protecting the city. Every time I thought about doing it, I'd pack out at the last minute. Wait. Are you seriously quitting? I suppose so. Yes. I thought I would get over it in time. But now that you're back, I don't want history to repeat itself. I'm scared of us running into that terrible man again and seeing you. I just don't want to see that again. You're implying that I should quit, quit as well? Because that's not happening. Zero. Look, I've accepted the fact that I might get hurt. Hell, I accepted that from the very beginning of all of this. I did too, but... That changed. Why? Because I got hurt? Well... Yes. So I'm just quitting. Why don't you use it as motivation? If you don't want to see me get hurt, then let that motivate you to continue patrolling. I can't do this without you, Monica. I need my partner. I need you. Sorry. I just don't think we're cut out for this. If we can be so easily defeated by someone like that, then what's the point? We could be marching to our own deaths. Monica, did you see the way he looked? He wasn't normal. There's such a small chance that we'll run into a guy like that again. You don't know that. We don't know the strength of all the people that are out there. Okay, fair point. But even so, we just train some more. Then once we've gotten stronger, we can deal with him and... No! She raises her voice. I can't do this anymore, Zero. I can't. So, you're just going to give up? Just like that? What happened in wanting to protect the city? Are you really just... throwing that all away? I've never been angry with Monica before. But right now, I can't control myself. She lets out a sigh. Can we please just drop this? Why? This is so unlike you. you just randomly change your mind about this. About something that seems so important. It wasn't random. It wasn't just me who was worried about you voice raises once again, shocking me a bit. You weren't there to see how lonely Inatsuki was. You weren't there to see how uncomfortable Yuri felt in the club. You weren't there to witness how miserable Sayori was. Missing days of school, not talking to anyone, constantly visiting you in the hospital, laying by your bedside every night praying to herself that her childhood friend would wake up someday. It's not just about me. It was never just about me. There's a long moment of silence between us. I...
have no clue what to say. What am I supposed to say after something like that? Monica, I'm... enough. Let's just... drop this. I can almost see tears beginning to well in her eyes. Fine. But I'm not going to stop patrolling. I have to accept the fact that you want to quit. And you have to accept that I want to keep going. Okay, then. She walks over to the rooftop door and opens it, walking through without me. I slowly begin to trail behind. Okay, Zero, you can show the twist now. <gasps> what do you mean? <laughs> <laughs> he put the Sayori sweat. Uh, you, you, can, you can show the twist now. <laughs> Uh, zero! <laughs> oh, okay! <laughs> you can stop now! <laughs> it's like, you'd stop now! And it's like, oh. But, uh, yeah, basically, the point of their argument is, um, yeah, you can agree with either one. Technically, neither of them are wrong in what they're saying. <laughs> That's kind of the point of their argument there, is that neither of them are really wrong, and it's really just up to you whether or not you, whether you think who's in the right there. <laughs> like, that's just kind of the point of that. Because, yeah, someone, someone said they were like, I'll give Monica those points, though. <laughs> and I was like, she makes a decent point. Like, it's kind of like, you don't really know who to go with here. Where's the funny zero? <laughs> uh, you guys remember? Uh, 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 you guys remember we were in the hospital? That was fun. <laughs> we were like, whoa! You remember? We were like, whoa, tic tac toe! You know? You know? You're like, yeah! <laughs> remember, remember that part? I was like, whoa! They're both right, and that makes them positives, therefore, positives repel from each other. Exactly. It's like, they're both technically correct in how they feel, so it's like, uh. <laughs> We re-enter the club room? Yeah. We re-enter the club room after a trek down the hallway. Not a single word was spoken. I kind of regret raising my voice at her. I can take a deep breath before she speaks to the rest of the club room. Okay, everyone. Sorry for the wait. I just wanted to say there isn't really anything planned for today. So you all may continue any previous activities you were working on. With this, she sits down at her front desk. Once there, however, I notice her happy expression fade. Jeez, even that okay everyone sounded a bit forced. I sigh quietly and sit down at a desk on the far end of the room. I was expecting a confession, not this! <laughs> They're like, oh, she's gonna say I love you! <laughs> and then it's like, oh no! <laughs> they were like, she's gonna say I love you. <laughs> no! <laughs> she... She didn't say it. <laughs> You've been bamboozled. <laughs> it was an accidental bamboozle. <laughs> I didn't even mean to bamboozle you! <laughs> but yeah, because yeah, Monica only confessed to him while he was, uh, you know, dying. And then he asked, like, yeah, I kind of heard you, but I didn't hear what you said. So she was like, oh, okay then. <laughs> so he took that time to take it back. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we want a confession. Okay. Wait, not that kind of confession! <laughs> I confess, I'm quitting. <laughs> no! <laughs> Next, you're gonna tell us you're not actually having a child with Cam. Monica, <laughs> I have to sit you down for this. <laughs> me and Cam, me and Cam have adopted. <laughs> have tear too many bamboozles. <laughs> Bamboozle tear. <laughs> Well, for the last 20 minutes, I've just been sitting here, thinking about the conversation Monica and I just had. Also, you guys don't know, I just want to point this out because it's just funny. You guys don't know how hard it's been that I've been sitting here, not being able to say anything about this man being alive. <laughs> I mean, like, I just want to point out how hard this has been for me. <laughs> I've been fucking, been fucking sitting here for so long. 
<laughs> fucking, yeah, not being able to fucking say that he's alive. Shit was annoying. You know how many teasers I could have put out, but I can't because he's alive? <laughs> how do you think we feel? <laughs> <laughs> Every in the chat is just like, oh yeah, what the fuck? It's not just you. It's like, yeah, it's, it's fair. It's fair point. <laughs> I'm getting rid of all my zero merge. Monica's apology wasn't much of an apology. It was more of a, I'm sorry, I don't want to be a vigilante anymore. Not, I'm sorry, I got you involved. That's because MC isn't sorry that he got involved. I feel like you're missing something here, Iris. <laughs> MC isn't upset that he got involved. <laughs> MC likes that he's involved. <laughs> he's not, he doesn't see himself as a victim to what Monica, to Monica's asking him to be a vigilante. He wanted to be involved. He said yes. Monica didn't say, you're my partner now. She asked him and he was like, sure. <laughs> Yeah, he willingly did all of this, yeah. It's like, it wasn't a case of where my MC was like, upset that she involved him. He likes that he's involved. He likes the rush. <laughs> I was like, he likes being involved. Monica's just apologizing because she's like, he expects her to stick around and she's like, I can't do this. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> Your partner's Audi. It was more like an argument, if anything. I really regret pushing her as much as I did. I shouldn't have tried to force her to do something she doesn't want to do. But I'm just so frustrated with her reasoning. <laughs> yeah, literally the fact that he likes fighting is why the argument happened. Yeah, if he didn't want to be involved in this anymore, there wouldn't be an argument. He'd be like, you're right, Monica, let's go. <laughs> it's like he likes being involved. Yeah, it's like he likes this. <laughs> I don't care if he likes being involved. I guess he likes people worrying that he might die too. That's Monica's argument. <laughs> Congratulations. That's the point of the argument. <laughs> that, that's Monica's argument. Monica's like, I don't want to keep worrying everybody. And MC's like, well, I can't, we can't just keep the city unprotected. There you go. You figured out the dilemma. <laughs> That's the problem. I guess all that stuff back then really traumatized her, though. If I just thought about that, I could have handled the situation a lot better. Damn it. I hope she isn't mad at me. Then over in her direction. Just fiddling around with her pencil while, while, while as her eyes. Oh no, wait, while, I think just while her eyes. Yeah, we need to get rid of the as. While her eyes focus on a piece of paper. Suddenly she looks up, she looks up toward me, causes me to immediately look away. <laughs> ah, they found me. <laughs> I don't want her to think I was staring at her. I wonder if she's still thinking about this stuff too. Maybe if I just give her some time, she'll change her mind. Hopefully. We'll see. I understand that what I'm saying is Monica was the first who put him in the situation in the first place and didn't say no from the start. I get, Iris, I can't talk to you about this anymore. We're going in circles. You're not... The entire chat and me are trying to explain this to you, but you're just going in circles. <laughs> like, I don't think we can... We're just going in circles with you. I don't think you understand. I don't know if you're ever gonna understand. <laughs> like, I think we might as well just drop that because I don't think you're ever gonna get this. It feels like you have some weird personal vendetta towards something that doesn't exist. <laughs> no, no, Zero, they have a point, Kappa. <laughs> Ugh. Patrols usually start in 15 minutes. Still no text from Monica. Part of me was hoping she would change her mind by tonight, but I suppose it's too soon. Or maybe I'm just in denial she actually is quitting. I might just have to accept that as the truth for now. My sighs, I slink down on the couch. Honestly, I'm kind of worried. Not only about her, but about, but about myself. I remember my first few nights patrolling alone. I could barely protect myself. At the time, she was the one coming to my rescue. Come on, Zero. You can do this. You're not the same person you were when we when you started. You've come a 
long way already, with Monica's training, of course. Surely, you'll be able to handle yourself. Surely. As I get up from the couch, I feel a looming sense of dread over top of me. I'm still injured. <laughs> I'll be fine. After taking a deep breath, I start getting ready to leave. Before heading out the door, however, I take one last glance at my phone. Nothing. Back to solo, boys. <laughs> I climb to the top of the building, scanning over the area in front of me. It's honestly a bit tough trying to be this agile again. But I can manage. Motherfucker's trying to patrol while injured? Yeah, he doesn't think things through. <laughs> Yeah, this is what happens when we don't have Monica around <laughs> to give, you know, smart advice. <laughs> it's like, oh no. <laughs> he really does need her. <laughs> but I can manage. Continue looking over the city. Nothing is really catching my eye. It all seems to be relatively normal. Suddenly, an obnoxious sound, an obnoxious noise breaks the silence. Is that a car alarm? It could just be someone accidentally brushing up against their vehicle. But I guess it wouldn't hurt to check. I follow the direction of the sound. Huh. Looks like it wasn't too far away. Just as the alarm ends, I see the car it was coming from. A woman is pulling out of a driveway. Is that her car? Upon closer inspection, there appears to be glass on the ground near the car. I also noticed the car handle being busted. It seems she was struggling to get inside. So I can obviously deduce that isn't her car. <laughs> the car needs to drive down the road at a very abnormal speed. Turn the sound volume up. I jump down and follow behind it. It's getting real difficult to keep track of this car. She keeps running red lights and making crazy turns. Not to mention that I have to make sure I move quick enough as to not draw too much attention to myself. What's she in such a hurry for? Uh, the concern is that the cops haven't noticed this maniac yet. Just keep following her, Zero. Eventually the time to strike will present itself. Finally, after all her bobbing and weaving, she seems to be stuck behind some other vehicles. I quickly make my way up and up onto a building. I pull out my pistol and attach a silencer Monica gave me a while back. First time really using this thing. It works. He means the silencer, <laughs> not the gun. I aim the gun at the tire. Over <laughs> Overseer judges. <laughs> How dare you? <laughs> Steady. Steady. Now! As far as you can speed off again, the bullet pierces her tire. I feel bad for whoever's car this actually was. <laughs> she gets out of the car angrily and attempts to blame it on the driver next to her. How dare you? Do you realize you just rear ended my car? Rear ended? How did she come to that conclusion? Her tire clearly has a gaping hole in it. <laughs> if she just looked, she would see that. Let out a sigh. So this is the type of person I'm dealing with tonight. Huh. Jeez, she's still yelling at this guy. <laughs> I think I'm starting to feel bad for this other driver. <laughs> Sorry, buddy. <laughs> no, you're going to stay right here until the police arrive. Huh. How easy. <laughs> the criminal brings the police to herself. <laughs> I made my way down the building to see the action a little closer, but not too close. Before the cops arrive, the woman bangs on the side of the man's door several times while screaming at him. After a very small amount of time, an officer finally pulls up to the scene. <laughs> Thank goodness you're here! This man just rear-ended my car! There's some conversation that happens between her and the officer, which mostly consists of her saying she was hit, despite the cop telling her she probably wasn't. <laughs> However, the cop eventually notices a damaged door handle and broken window. Ma'am, why is the driver's side window and door smashed? You know, it, it's always been like that. He seems to get suspicious. Can I see your license or registration? 
Why? I want to log your information, if that's okay. Well, it's not okay. Then you'll have to come downtown with me. Okay, fine. She opens the car door and retrieves some papers from inside the dashboard. Here. She hands the papers to the officer, along with her license. He looks over it, over it for a few moments. Uh, ma'am, this isn't your vehicle. It's my mother's car. Well, what's your mother's name, then? Why do you need to know? <laughs> well, I need to confirm this vehicle isn't stolen, ma'am. I'm not telling you. Then you're under arrest. With that, he takes her away while the other driver is free to go. <laughs> that poor guy. <laughs> that poor other driver. <laughs> He's like, I just want to leave. <laughs> Man. Honey, you won't believe what my day. <laughs> This lady is not very smart. Yeah, most of the people who most of the people who do that aren't. <laughs> also, Monica wrote that. I don't know, like, it's like... <laughs> With that, he takes her away while the other driver is free to go. Well, looks like the show is over. I see to climb a building, making my leave from the scene as well. You added a Karen to your mod zero and it said, Hey, not every person they stop is a notorious criminal. <laughs> Some of them are just regular ass people being crazy. <laughs> well, that was entertaining. Wasn't expecting such a great show in the middle of the night. Anyway, guess I better- Huh? While turning around to go home, I spot something on the street. There's a man that seems to be running really fast down an alleyway. Huh. That's odd. I mean, hey. There's a chance he could just be going out for a nice jog. But I should probably still follow him anyway. <laughs> MC remembers the laundry incident. <laughs> <laughs> can't give people shit anymore. <laughs> you can't give people leeway anymore at all. After a few minutes of, fo of following the man from multiple rooftops, he comes to a stop. A warehouse, eh? Yep, there's no way he's not doing anything illegal there. <laughs> oh, forgot to show these. Um, the save files have these little, they have this now. When you don't have a save file thing on there, uh, the, the, it's this. I forgot to show these. <laughs> yep, I already said that. I think it's about time I crashed this party. He has to walk inside the warehouse, though not before looking over his shoulders to make sure no one's around. Once he's inside, I jump off the building and make my way to the entrance. I'm telling you, I wasn't followed. Man, this place stinks. Are you sure you guys are criminals? We're overgrown rats. Yeah, what the? I thought you said you weren't followed. I wasn't. I swear. Ah, I totally followed you. What? Honestly, you should have actually checked a bit better instead of just doing a quick glance over each shoulder. A blush of embarrassment flashes over the man's face. Aw, that's adorable. <laughs> hey, morons! How about you stop talking and kill him already? A group of them start to form around me. Jeez, there's a lot more guys here than I expected. But it's okay. I can... Whoa! Man throws a punch at me, which I'm barely able to dodge. Ooh, choice-based combat! Remember, chat! Oh, God! Flip him! <laughs> I quickly counter by flipping him to the floor. And afterwards, two guys attack me at the same time. One coming from my left, the other from my right. Once the man on my right gets close enough, I punch him in his face and grab him by his arm. And then throw him into the other man. Is that all you guys got? God! I feel a sharp pain hit my back, causing me to stagger. I turn around to see a man carrying a metal pipe. Damn it! Where did he come from? I rush toward him, throwing a punch. However, he blocks my fist with the pipe. Ow! I recoil and shake my hand. <laughs> How's the broken hand, kid? Broken? I simply jabbed the man in the stomach. Gah! Didn't say anything about it being broken. Falls to the ground, dropping the pipe in the process. 
Turn around once more to face the other criminals. Jeez, there's still three of them left? I better make this quick before they pull any more sneak attacks. Rush at them, we got two seconds! <laughs> make a mad dash at one of them and go in for a punch. He simply catches my hand before it reaches his face. Whoa! He then takes the opportunity to knee me in my chest. Ah! Before he can knee me again, however, I continue with a counter with a wet with a leg sweep. Whoa! Falls on his back, letting go of my hand. And I quickly stomp on his chest before he can get back up, knocking him out. All right, that's. Ah! Fall to my knees as intense pain overcomes my legs. It's long before I'm hit again. This time in the back of my skull. Causing me to fully be on the ground. God damn it. I may have powers, but those pipes really hurt. This sucks. I have nobody here to watch my back. Is he dead? <laughs> I don't fucking know, and I don't fucking care. Just grab the shit and get out of here before he wakes up. Hey man, what the fuck are you doing? Your footsteps getting closer to me. Once they stop, I feel myself being lifted into the air by my shirt. Don't worry, don't worry. This run is finished. There's no way you survived a blow like that. You know, you guys should really learn what a pulse is. What? I immediately smashed the grunt's head with my own, causing him to let go of me. Ah! Falls over with his hands on his head, groaning in pain. I'm a little dizzy after that, and it's nothing too serious. I look over to see the other two criminals carrying briefcases. Shit! We gotta get out of here! I'll start to run as I reach into my pocket. Alright, chat. Knife or gun? <laughs> what are we reaching into? Knife or gun, chat? We're not time. Ooh, ooh, a lot of guns. A lot of guns. Alright, we're going gun, chat. I... I can't. Let's try this instead. I grab my knife and throw it at one of their legs. Ah, fuck! I was over while dropping the briefcase. I ran past him, picking up the briefcase in the process. Sorry, chat. You know he can't do that. <laughs> Come on, chat! He can't use the gun yet! He's scared! He's scared. Let's just shoot him in the leg. He, he spooked! Side, I scan the area to see where the other man ran off to. Come on. There's no way he could have gotten that far. Ah! I see him attempting to start up a motorbike. The sounds of it, it doesn't sound like he's getting very far. I mean, walking over to him, suitcase still in hand. Come on, come on! Start, you hunk of junk! You look like you're having some trouble there. The man quickly pulls a gun out on me from his pocket. Hey, take it easy. Back the fuck away. I'm not afraid to shoot you. Oh, trust me. I know. Considering you guys didn't hesitate to whack me with a metal pipe. His hand is slightly shaking. He's definitely nervous. But not nervous enough for me to act on it. I might still be able to pull something off here, though. Or... I guess I could try doing nothing. Let his nerves get the better of him. All right, chat, it's time for a choice. It's time for a choice, chat. Hmm. Dash at him or reach for gun? Reach for gun! We gotta reach for his gun, chat! Ah, eh, screw it. I move my hand toward my pocket. So the game is over. What a truly foolish end. Yeah, there's game over screens. <laughs> so uh, yeah, let's so, so since we're doing that, let me show you the other ones. Uh, if you go to punch him, I throw a punch at him. Fortunately, he catches my fist. He has an opportunity to punch me directly in my gut. The wind is briefly knocked out of me. Damn, these guys don't play around. I'd act fast. 
Now you only have two seconds to quickly flip him. But if you don't... God. Suddenly I feel a sharp pain in the back of my head. Damn it. It took too long. I'm quickly struck again. Causing me to fall over on the ground. Monica. I'm... Sorry. Boop. And then, blah, 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 yeah, you know the deal. Game over. <laughs> Two deaths already, Zero? Like, shut up. <laughs> Damn, I'm bad at this. <laughs> but yeah, no, um, so yeah. You can, but yeah, um, but you can still save that if you went for a punch. If you do quick, quickly flip him, you can save it. If you quickly flip him, then you can save it. Save. And he does give you a kind of hint saying, looks like you have to remember to switch it up every now and again. You know, because instead of going for a punch, he's like, we're going flip, we went for a punch, so yeah. Flip it up. Yeah, so switch it up. Uh, same thing happens with the Seko. I'm not going to show it again, just for time. If you don't rush at him, you get you, you, you lose. Alright. And yeah, knife and gun just kind of lead to the same option. <laughs> Alright, so yeah. Um, so, both of the options are dash, or dash at him or reach for the gun. Now, I don't think I have to be a whiz to tell you both options are pretty bad. <laughs> but MC does give you a little hint, saying, I guess I could try doing nothing and let his nerves get the better of him. So, yeah, the right option is supposed to sit here. So, what are you waiting for? <laughs> he quickly fires the gun, interrupting my attempt at conversation. I simply dodge the bullet and chuck the briefcase at him. The weight impact of the case calls him to stumble and drop the gun. Case the opportunity to dash forward and knock him right in the jaw. His body goes limp as he falls to the floor. Wow, this guy should have some short fuses. Now, this is meant as a tutorial. <laughs> this is meant as a teaching opportunity. MC's not gonna be so obvious next time when he says, I could try doing nothing. This is a tutorial part, basically. It's like, to let you remember, sometimes doing nothing is a viable option. <laughs> This is a tutorial. MC's not gonna always be like, maybe I should do nothing. What do you guys think? <laughs> Need to have an easy mode so if you don't have it turned on, it forces you to restart the whole mod. <laughs> yeah, he's dead. You gotta start from chapter one. You have to change your name. <laughs> Well, you can't. Well, you can't load your thing and you're in the game over screen though, because it's a show text, so you can't even pause. I don't think. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Obviously, yeah. saving is yeah. <laughs> Disable text skip. No, I'm not that mean. No, 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 no. I'm not. I'm not that rude. That's fucked. So yeah. Now, originally though, to be fair, originally this was way root meaner. <laughs> it was up to Erd to tell me to change this, because Erd was like, "This is kind of bullshit." <laughs> Originally, he did not say, I guess I could try doing nothing. Originally, he just said, I might be able to pull something off here. And it was like up to you to not click the options. <laughs> so it was way ruder before. <laughs> yeah, it wasn't very obvious that you were supposed to do it. Yeah, Erd was like, this is kind of bullshit for people. So I was like, okay, fair. I thought there was going to be like a do nothing option. That was actually one of uh, one of Erd's uh, recommendations. He said you c I could add He said I could add a do nothing option, but then I realized that having a timer go out and a do nothing option just felt kind of redundant. <laughs> so yeah, it was just kind of a you let it play. Yeah. Imagine making people start the whole mod over, they get a bad ending. Yeah, I was just saying, no, I cannot fucking do that. That would be terrible. And you, like, disable skipping. You, you get rid of unseen text. <laughs> I mean, yeah, but I mean, you should be saving while playing mods anyway. <laughs> as soon as you saw that choice, you should have fucking started saving. <laughs> you saw the first choice. I was like, the third time I got cut off tonight. Oh, well, better get out of here. Cops should be coming any minute now, thanks to Mr. Triggerfinger. As I'm getting ready to leave, my attention is caught by one of the briefcases. You know, I never got to see what was inside those things. I mean, that'd just be something important if they were trying so hard to get away from me. 
Granted, it could just be the usual drugs or money. I suppose a little peek wouldn't hurt. I slowly look over, I slowly walk over to the one of the briefcases. Okay, now let me just. Ah, damn it! Oh, siren blares from from down the street. And all the times for you guys to show up. I quickly drop the briefcase and escape the area, leaving them next to the unconscious criminal. Couldn't take the briefcase because there'd be nothing to charge them for. <laughs> they just see a bunch of people on the floor. <laughs> Walk into my room and fall onto my bed. Ah, so soft. I look up toward my ceiling, reflecting on what happened tonight. Welp, looks like I did it. I survived my first official solo patrol. Well, my first one since Monica quit. That still just... Doesn't sound right. Ugh, I just gotta get used to it. I just hope it doesn't complicate our relationship. Or at least complicate it further. <sighs> Enough thinking about that. There's something else that's on my mind anyway. Something probably more important. Why are those guys, why were those guys trying so hard to protect these briefcases? Like, I could just chalk it up to being to stolen money being inside. But I wonder if it could be something else. Something more... dangerous. I let it allow yawn, interrupting my thoughts. Yeah, it's a bit too late for this type of thinking. I slowly close my eyes and drift off to sleep, leaving this for tomorrow. Mission A rank. I heard what's in the briefcase. Must be lore. Mm, I don't know. Actually, I do know what's in the briefcase. I just can't tell you. <laughs> what is it? We've been going for two hours thirty. We can go for a bit more. Yeah, we're gonna be streaming this and like for the next few days until it's finished. Plot twist: It's the briefcase of Pulp Fiction. It's just white. It's just white light. I yawn. I lift my head up from my desk. I can't believe I'm back to doing this again. The girls would kill me if they knew. I get up from my seat, put a bag over my shoulder, and walk out the classroom. Although to be fair, it's not my fault I had to stay up late fighting those dumb criminals. But I obviously can't tell them that. The only person who'd be able to tell that would be able to tell that reason too would be Monica. And I really doubt she'd let me off the hook. Eventually, I make it to the club and open the door. Zero! As I walk through the door, Sarah quickly embraces me. My wonderful, amazing childhood friend. How's your day been? Something is definitely off here. It's been fine, I guess. <laughs> walk over to a desk and put my bag down. That's good. I'm so happy for you. I give her a quizzical look. Never, she merely responds with a beaming smile. Okay, what do you want? Can you please get me something from the vending machine? He looks at me with pleading eyes. No. <laughs> Darn it! Don't you have any money of your own? No! I'm just a poor girl with no source of income. She puts on the saddest face she can muster. Did your parents give you money, like, yesterday? What? No. What gave you that idea? <laughs> I don't know. It's because you called me last night and asked me what my favorite type of cookie was. I could also hear you chewing over the phone. You still haven't answered that question. Yeah, you better say snickerdoodle. Yuri, help me. <laughs> I look over at Yuri, who doesn't even glance in my direction as she continues reading. Thanks, Yuri. I'll remember that. My mental thread is abruptly interrupted by the sound of the door. Hello, everyone. Hi, Moni. Hey, Monica. All the girls greet Monica, including Yuri, looking up her book to give her an acknowledging smile. Oh, so you'll look up to greet Monica, but not to save a fellow club member? <laughs> Soon Monica's eyes meet mine. Nah, crap. I give her an awkward wave. Uh, hey. Hey. Circuits with an awkward wave of her own. Not long 
after, she starts walking to the front desk. I slump down into a desk of my own while Sayori makes her way over to me. Hey, can we talk in the hallway? The last time, Sayori. I'm not getting you something. It's not about that. It's something else. I notice a serious look in her eyes while she says this. Okay. I lazily get up from my seat. Sayori calls out to the club while we walk toward the door. We'll be right back. Confession time! <laughs> she shuts the door behind us. So, what's up? Don't what's up me! What's up with you and Monica? That greeting you guys had was really strange. You also didn't sit with us at lunch either. You two seem really distant for some reason. I know. It's just... I trail off, not knowing exactly what to say. I knew someone was going to notice something was up. How am I supposed to tell her? Look, we're just going through some stuff right now, okay? I really can't talk about it. I'm sorry. Once I'm able to get all of that out, Sarah's expression changes. Oh, I see. She slowly sits herself down on the floor, resting her back up against the wall. This is weird. Normally, if I'm sat around Sayori, she would never stop bugging me until I tell her what's wrong. So I'm seeing her give up so quickly like this. I'm sorry for, like, teasing you about being with Monica and stuff. I know I probably pressured you into asking her out. Wait. Is she blaming herself for all this? Out of the size, I lean up against the wall beside her. All I remain silent as both, as both of us just stare off into the abyss. Apple juice. Huh? <laughs> I, I love her. Yeah, cause it, cause her face. That's when I wrote this. I love it. Cause the, her face. She's like, what? <laughs> Because her face, her eyes get all wide. She's like, what? <laughs> My sudden outburst causes Sayori to look straight toward me. Apple juice. That's what you always get, right? Her eyes light up when she realizes what I'm talking about. Hey, you really don't have to... Before she can finish her sentence, I start making my way down the corridor. Hey! Wait for me! I hear her voice calling out to me as the sounds of her footsteps rapidly get closer. I start walking a bit faster. Come on, Slowpoke. Do you want the apple juice or not? As those words leave my mouth, the sound of her footsteps increase in volume. <laughs> oh no. I've unleashed a monster. <laughs> yes, the apple juice is a reference to base DDLC. <laughs> when Sayori drank the apple juice. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone's gonna murder me. It is! <laughs> Everyone's gonna hurt me. <laughs> I'm getting tired of your references. Get out of here. No! Bro, it's also because apple... I mean, apple juice is also a cute thing for her to like, alright? It's a cute favorite. It's just... Remember? <laughs> Every reference, take a shot, you'd be dead, Thixter. <laughs> Actually, I don't think there's that many references. See, most of them, I have to tell you, they're not- uh, At least my references aren't like, you know, those blatant ones where they're like, Bro, it's a reference to PewDiePie, you know? <laughs> at least they're not like that. <laughs> at least they- Yeah, at least they're like in lore references. Like they, get, like, they work like that. At least they're not like that. Would you rather me be like Relapse? Or we're gonna reference iDubs? <laughs> Don't make me do that! Actually, I, I would never do that. I hate that. <laughs> oh, God. This is a reference to DK. <laughs> okay, everyone. It's time for us to leave. I'll see you all tomorrow. With that, they all start to pack their bags. 
Yuri being the first one finished and out the door, as always. It's being kind of nice not having to worry about planning activities due to exams. Between that and me quitting patrols, I might actually have some time to study again. I begin packing my own bag as I see Zero and Sayori on their way out. Bye, Monica! Sayori waves enthusiastically. Zero, on the other hand, just gives a standard, non-moving hand raise. I wave back to both of them while smiling sweetly. Once they leave, I continue packing my bag. <laughs> the interaction between Sayori and MC is actually reference to how their childhood friends in DLC. <laughs> you see, them in a being in a literature club is actually a reference to the base game where they start a literature club. <laughs> and I close the door behind me and lock it with my key. I always found it odd that we have to lock these doors before we leave. I mean, who's gonna bother breaking into a literature club? Unless someone is that passionate about stealing manga. Although, I suppose they could steal Yuri's tea set. As I ponder this thought, I begin to walk down the hallway. I doubt you'd bring that expensive a tea of a tea set to leave in the club room, though. Granted, this is Yuri I'm talking about here. Really? And you got her back? Mm-hmm. It was all thanks to those masked people. I suddenly stop in my tracks. Did I hear that correctly? I look for the source of the voices and slowly make my way over there. It seems to be coming from this classroom I nearly passed by. I discreetly peek inside. I see one girl sitting at a desk while the other is standing in front of it. The one standing remains unfamiliar to me, but the girl sitting down... She's... The girl whose cat was stuck that night. I thought they saved people, not cats. Talk about underwhelming. I wouldn't say so. I mean, they saved Snowball. So to me, they're heroes. Oh yeah, I guess I forgot how important that cat is to you. Eh, alright. I guess in your case, they're pretty cool. I hang my head off from the door before they get a chance to spot me. And that girl... She looks so happy talking about how we helped her. <laughs> it feels really nice knowing you helped make someone's life easier. <laughs> I guess that's why Sayori and I get along so well. Wait. Not long after that girl went home, that man appeared. If we weren't there to save her cat, she probably would have still been there around the time he showed up. So glad Zero and I were there to help her. Well, these thoughts force my mind to think back to when I decided to quit patrolling. I wonder if he thinks less of me now. I make my way out of the school building. Regardless, it's nice to see him up and moving again. Though the thought of him patrolling by himself does worry me. I told him I accepted the fact he was going to continue patrolling alone. But I think I only agreed to that because I didn't want to control him. I also didn't think he'd actually go through with it. Oh, who am I kidding? I should have expected him to go through with it. He's as stubborn as a mule. I just ugh, don't want to see him get hurt again. I... I need to help him. But then... I'll be putting myself in danger as well. And I can't let the girls go through that again. So I guess I'm just stuck. Living day by day. Knowing that he's going out there every night. And risking his life for others. And despite the fact that he almost died. He's still going. He's still helping people. I want to call him selfish for not thinking about us, but I can't. I look up from the sidewalk and see my house in front of me. Huh, they know I made it home already. I look up to see the sun slowly setting in the distance. It's almost time for him to patrol. I start walking toward my home and head inside. Sad. Is she coming back? Nope. She was going to. Then she was like, nope. Backpedaled.
He is literally alive because he's stubborn. Yeah, his body is, is, is he's stubborn enough to stick to keep himself alive. Will it happen? Will he be able to pull that off again? Probably not. <laughs> if anything, I think he just got extremely lucky. It was, a, it was a bit of luck and a little stubbornness. Today, I decided to read some manga with Natsuki. I haven't read together since I came back, so I thought now would be the perfect time to catch up. But in spite of this, she seems a bit down. She's been very quiet. Maybe she's just really focused? I continue to read with her for a while. Jeez, she'd stop and talk about the story by now. She slipped through a lot of pages that seem important. Hey, is everything all right? Huh? Are you talking to me? It's like I wasn't even here. <laughs> uh, yeah. Oh, yeah, I'm fine. Just focus on the story. You said that in a rather dismissive sort of way. Are you sure? Ugh, yes! Now leave it alone! Jeez, you're so nosy. I I'm sorry. She gives no response to my apology. I decide to leave it alone and continue to read. Or at least attempt to read. So my mind suddenly begins to drift elsewhere. Monica wasn't here when I came in. I take a quick glance around the room to look for her. And she's still gone. I hope she's alright. Hey, Natsuki. What? Do you know where Monica is? Why? Do you want to hang out with her instead? She says this with a really sour tone. No, I just haven't seen her today, is all. Oh. Well, no. I don't know where she is either. I do! Sarah's voice echoes from across the room. She said she had to help out a teacher today. Sayori, could you please keep your voice down? Oh, sorry, Yuri! I let out a sigh before glaring over at her. Sayori, just come over here and talk to us. Okay! With that, she marches over to us gleefully. Why didn't you tell us earlier that Monica was going to be late? Oh, was I supposed to? Sayori, you're the vice president. Is that something vice presidents do? <laughs> I'd like to think so! <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. It's fine. Also, why are you eavesdropping on our conversation? Ah, I'm sorry for that too! <laughs> when there's nothing happening in the room, it's hard not to! It's not that hard. Just be like Yuri. Actually... Huh? Sayori's right. It's difficult not to listen in when you two are the only ones speaking. What? Alright, fine. <laughs> Blep. <laughs> Forgot I made her do that. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, back to Monica. Do you know she's coming by later? Yeah, she says she would if she had time. Suddenly, as if right on cue, Monica steps in through the door. I'm super sorry for being late, everyone. The music teacher really needed my help. It's okay, Monica. Wait, music teacher? Did he need help cleaning gum out of his recorder? <laughs> no. Lucky. Look over in Monica's direction and give her a small wave. She waves back with a smile on her face. Look back down at Natsuki, noticing that she hasn't looked up from her book this entire time. And I suddenly get a strange sinking feeling in my stomach. Maybe I'm just worrying about nothing. I continue to read with her, ignoring it for now. Okay, everyone. That's it for our meeting today. I'll see you all tomorrow. Once Monica is finished, everyone begins to pack up, including me. That is not a reference to her wanting to learn piano. We already had a piano scene in chapter two. <laughs> the, grr, you don't even know the references. I'm gonna, I'm gonna hit you, brother. <laughs> I'm to become Hulk Hogan when I'm angry, apparently. <laughs> Long before they're all ready and out the door. However, before I'm able to leave, I quickly remember that I forgot one of Natsuki's manga volumes. Ah, where is it? 
Look behind me to see it still sitting on the desk. Still, still, still sitting on my desk. Phew. Rush over, I'll rush over to it and pack it away in my bag. The one time Natsuki lets me take a book home, I almost forgot it. I was almost a dead man. Hard to think that's happened to me twice. Anyway, now I'm ready to leave. As I walk out the door, I hear sobbing? I glance over to my left. I see Monica and Natsuki near the end of the hall, talking about something. Wait, is Natsuki crying? I've never seen her so distraught. Has he... has he done anything physically? No, not yet. I don't think he ever will. He? Who are they talking about? Do you know if he's going through anything stressful? No, or at least I don't think so. Besides, he barely does anything! What could he be so stressed over? Monica gently hugs Natsuki in an attempt to comfort her. If it ends up getting worse, don't be afraid to let me know. You don't deserve to be treated like this. Especially from your own father. Her father? What the fuck? I thought it was just some bully picking on her. What the hell did he do to her? I instinctively clenched my fist. An abusive parent? That's all I needed to hear. I fiercely marched down the hallway in the opposite direction of them. And give that bastard a piece of my mind. I abruptly stopped walking. What? What am I doing? She told Monica that he hasn't done anything physical yet. I don't think I need to get involved. Besides, I don't even have the full story. I let out a tired sigh. I almost went full on superhero to a man that might not deserve it. I really need to calm down. I'm sure it'll just fix itself. He thought about it. <laughs> I mean, he's not wrong. Yeah, no, he thought about it. He stopped and thought about it. MC's rash, but he ain't that rash. <laughs> I always had the Datsuki scene thing. Or MC was going to beat him up, and then he was like, hold up. <laughs> Let me think. Don't pull a fruits, Datsuki. <laughs> yeah, I was like, he had to think about it. Like, hold up. I don't even have the full story. <laughs> He didn't jump the gun yet. I like how you put a yet. <laughs> he didn't jump the gun yet. I, I'm waiting for him to fuck up. <laughs> He's gonna do it eventually. I know it. <laughs> is that it? Yeah, and this is the place. Um, thanks for walking me home and comforting me and stuff. I smile as I notice the blush on her face. It's no problem. Just think about what I said earlier, okay? If you ever need me, I'm here. Alright. See you later, Monica. See you tomorrow, Natsuki. I wave her goodbye as she walks towards her front door. Afterwards, I begin the trek home. This might be a long walk. She lives quite far from me. She even lives far from the school. I feel bad that she has to travel so far every day. She must have to get up really early for that. I wonder how Zero's doing. The sun is about to set. Which means he's probably getting ready to patrol. I... I hate thinking about this. Why can't I just leave it alone? Who am I trying to fool? I know why I can't leave it alone. I'm worried about him. Maybe it was a huge mistake to quit. Ah! Uh, will I ever go a day without thinking about this? Probably not until my worries are put to rest. 
Am I really that worried about him? Can't just be that. Has to be more. Take a minute to reflect on everything that happened in the past month. This is the second time I've done this. After briefly thinking it over, one question remains in my mind. Why did I quit? But that's obvious. I quit because I didn't want to worry the girls. I just couldn't bear putting that weight on them. Especially with how much they already deal with in their day-to-day -day lives. It was a perfectly valid reason. Then, why does it feel so wrong? I think I'm almost home. Just gotta pass through this park, and... I suddenly stop walking. Wait. This is... Ooh. I begin to silently tread a somewhat abandoned construction site. I swear I saw those guys walking over here. While I continue to sneak around, I can't help but think about Monica. I really hope all my pushing didn't ruin anything between us. I believe how selfish I was acting. Should have just accepted that she wanted to quit and then move on. But no, just had to only think about my sake in all of this. Well, at least we've been a bit more cordial recently. I do still avoid her and Sarah at lunch, but she smiled at me in the club. So, maybe she's forgiven me? Eh, I don't know. She could have been putting on a face for the girls. God knows how good she is at doing that. I let out a sigh. I just hope she's feeling better. Ah! I'm lost in my thoughts. I'm suddenly tackled to the ground. <laughs> well, that was easy. Hey guys, I got him! Damn it! I'm so busy thinking I totally lost focus on the patrol. Let go of me! The man who grabbed me, grabbed me twists my arms on my back while kneeling on top of me. Damn it! Can't move. There are two other people approach from behind. What do you want me to do with them? I think we should just smash his skull in right here. <laughs> I thought we were supposed to take him back to the boss. That's the reason we captured him, right? Man, you're no fun. I knew bringing her on this mission was a mistake. This is bad. I have to kick the man holding me down. I said get off me! He's squirming around a lot. Are we gonna throw him in the back or what? Yeah, yeah, I'll help. I'm gonna push my entire body up into him while still trying to kick. He's a pretty big guy. Damn it, am I seriously about to be kidnapped? This shit's impossible to do alone. Two men pick me up, but as they do, I struggle harder. Cooperate, you brat! No way! Why the hell would I cooperate with you? Jeez, we should have bought some duct tape with us. The kid's noisy as hell. Hey, he's slipping! Almost free. Hey, we got trouble! Is that a walkie talkie? What's going on out there? S someone's taking everyone out! They're. Oh no, they found me! Ah! The call cuts off. Shit. You two, stay here. Take care of this kid. Here, they'll begin running away. The footsteps getting quieter the further she gets. Who the hell? What? What? <laughs> Who the hell? Whatever. It doesn't matter right now. I'll thank them later. Right now, though... Hey! I eventually break free of their hold. I merely take my gun out and attempt to intimidate them. Shit! Screw this, man! You're on your own! Scarner grabbing the speed off in the opposite direction. Keep my gun focused on the big guy. Oh, are you? Oh, okay. Uh, there you go, sorry. <laughs> she hasn't <laughs> been talking him. much. She just laughed, like, really random, hard at somebody saying laughing. it's Shinji. Yeah. <laughs> Not gonna run away like your friend? 
You think I'm afraid of a runt like you? It's not me you should be afraid of. What you should be afraid of is a bullet going through your skull. Is that so? Why don't you shoot me then? Fuck. He actually called my bluff. Jazz me in the gut, causing me to recoil. Damn it! He's not scared at all. Rips a large knife out from his belt. I knew you didn't have the guts to shoot me. I could see it in your eyes. Pull my gun away and attempt to grab my own knife. However, before I could pull it out, he slashes at my arm before following it up with a kick to my chest. This caused me to fall down onto my back. Damn, I knew that plan would backfire someday. I was so careless. This guy's entire crew would have been taken down by now if I wasn't such an idiot. He pins me down with his knee once again, this time putting it right on my chest. Striking pain or wrongs due to, due to me, due to him leaning directly on my wound. Fuck, this hurts. He attempts to slash my throat, but I catch his hands before they can reach me. I, I don't know what to do. Eventually, I'm gonna be too tired to hold him back. And then, damn it! I need to push him back with the remaining strength I have left. Did his eyes flash yellow? It's just like... Wait, is that why he's so strong? No, surely it's just my mind's playing tricks on me. Sure enough, they flash again. He's like him. I... I'm not about to let myself nearly die again. I desperately continue to push him back. Feeling my strength slowly fade. Not... again. Huh? Suddenly a shadowy figure kicks the man in the back of the head, knocking him out. I look up at my savior, trying to get a glimpse of who they are. Qu Queen? But I thought... Shh! Just get up. We need to go. But... Let's move! I quickly comply, and allow her to practically drag me along with my sleeve. As we run, I can hear sirens in the distance. Wow. Her timing was impeccable. <laughs> Sadly, it is not Shinji. <laughs> To all of the Shinji fans out there, it is not Shinji. <laughs> Boo! <laughs> Sadly, it was not Shinji. After a few minutes of running, we hide ourselves away in a nearby alley, desperately trying to catch our breath. <sighs> okay, I think we're safe. Now we can finally address the elephant in the room. I thought you said you quit. I did. And, I'm sorry. It was wrong of me to do that. I was just... so worried about the girls. Seeing them all deal with their time at the hospital really affected me. It made me think about how they'd all react if something ever happened to me. But, on my, on my walk home today, I remembered something. Something very important. I made a promise that I would protect them and this city. And that includes you. Every day, it made me so uncomfortable to know you were patrolling alone. I couldn't bear to see you get hurt again, and I know they couldn't either. So, if I don't want to see them suffer again, I have to do this. For them. And besides... A small smile creeps onto her face. I can't allow my pupil to show me up too much now. She flashes me a wink. <laughs> I see. Again, I'm really sorry for quitting. Eh, don't worry about it. If anything, I'm the one who's sorry. Huh? About what? Well... 
about... Uh... Getting all riled up when you told me you wanted to quit. I got way too heated about the whole thing. I ended up yelling at you and stuff. Afterwards, we didn't really talk anymore, so... I kinda thought you were mad at me. I nervously start scratching the back of my head. Zero, I wasn't mad at you. In fact, I was never mad at you. I honestly thought you were mad at me. I felt so guilty after walking away from that conversation. I just couldn't stop thinking about it. Same here! Oh, jeez. We really need to communicate better. She giggles, which causes me to smile a bit. Definitely. But, yeah. Looks like we're a team again. Joker. <laughs> Looks like we are. It's good to have you back, Prez. Look over at a pipe located above her. And jump to it. Race it to the top! Huh? Hey! You got a head start! <laughs> she starts jumping up behind me, trying to catch up. I leap over the side of the building and land right on top of it. Everyone's saying kiss! <laughs> now kiss! <laughs> <laughs> Emo, oh, wow, why would you guys be so mean and put them in emote only? I'm sorry, chat. He redeemed it. I leap over the side of the building and land right on top of it. Ha! I win. Don't get too used to that. I'm still a bit rusty. We'll look, at, look out over the city, admiring the great view we have. And there's a few cop cars driving around on the streets. Guess it's their turn to patrol now. Man, I really miss these views. Yeah. I haven't actually stopped to take in one of these for a while. We stand rather close to each other, looking at the city lights in the distance. By the way, thanks for saving me back there. It was no problem. Well, that's actually not true. It was kind of tough fighting all those guys. I also had no idea you were captured until I heard your voice. Wow, I thought my big mouth ever come in handy. <laughs> we sit in silence for a few moments, watching the city together. Oh yeah, I forgot to tell you something. Hmm? Huh? That guy back there, the one who was holding me down, he had the same yellow eyes that man had all those nights ago. What? Weird expression appears over her face. Well, they weren't yellow all the time. It would just like flash every now and then. Oh. Yeah. And even though I almost lost, I was still able to put up, put up a fight. So I don't think he was as strong as that other guy. Hmm. Maybe. The flashing was some sort of indication that he wasn't at full power. That's a pretty safe bet, honestly. However, one question now remains. Where are these yellow-eyed guys coming from? Well, we should probably get moving. Yeah? There's gotta be some more criminals for- there's gotta be some more criminals for us to stop out there. Hmm. Alright. Race you down! <laughs> That she lunges downward off the building, catching herself on a pipe. What? what? Wait for me! I quickly follow behind her, putting my mask back on as well. Hello. Hello. Oh, you came just when we were stopping. All right. Oh, time skip. Time skip. Boop, 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 Monday. Boop, 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 boop. Monday. <laughs> time skip. Boop, 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 boop. There we go. There we go. Alright, so we're gonna stop here for tonight since it's been three hours. Uh, <laughs> we're gonna catch chat, kept talking about kisses. Yeah, I <laughs> that's what kind of why I want to go for one more day because Monica's back. <laughs> yeah. So, I also want to answer some questions. Some people seemed confused. Someone got it correct. So, when Monica was at the one place, she was at the place with the cherry blossom tree and she said, wait, this is, someone was like, the place where she got mugged. Yes, if you remember, that was the place where she went for a jog in chapter two and she sat on the bench. And if you remember, that was the place where she promised 
that was a place where she promised the girls that she wasn't gonna that she was going to protect them so that's why she brings up the promise going there basically reminded her of her promise <laughs> mm -hmm. so yeah that was the that's basically what happened there it reminded her of the promise that she had but yeah, see, MC's death did shake, did have an impact, even if it didn't, even if it didn't actually die. It shook Monica, but it didn't shake her too much. We didn't want, I didn't want to make her be shaken for too long because, again, I knew that promise happened, so I didn't want her to be like out of commission for like the rest of the chapter. So that's yeah. why she is only like not doing it for like a few days, because you know, it's because she still kind of thinks about it. You know, she's just kind of like, I'm gonna stop for now, you know, but then eventually she does come back. So yeah. That's that's why it doesn't. That's why she isn't out of commission for too long. But yeah, but yeah. Um, I think now we're on day seven, if I recall. Every time I look at the script, usually. So we got a few more days left. Uh, depending how fast I go next stream, we might be able to finish it. Hold up, maybe. maybe. I might be able to finish it by next stream. Cause hold up, what day is this? This is day seven. Might be day seven, right? Yeah, it is. It's day seven, so yeah, we got a few more days left. But to be fair, these are also really long days, so there's a really long day in there. So I don't know. It could definitely, it could turn into a third stream. We'll have to see what happens. Also, so but yeah, I hope you guys are enjoying chapter three so far. <laughs> It feels so, so good to, to finally release it and finally, <laughs> finally be able to talk about <laughs> stuff. Also, guys, let you guys see our gallery so far. You know, let's see if we unlocked any new things, Jack. Hmm. We have. Oh, we unlocked oh. promo art two. Look at that. Look at that. We unlocked promo art two. Made by Shira. This one was made a little while ago. I think this was made when I uh, updated Chapter One, and I think I was releasing the Chapter Two demo. We're yeah, back. I do remember that one? So there we go. I got some fan arts to get here, but I am. Yeah. Congrats on being one of the people I can't trust in my life. That's mean. Uh, <laughs> uh but. Yeah, I guess next time, tomorrow, we will stream more Vigilante and such. If we did seven days now, then probably do five days next to do YouTube only upload. Yeah, uh, probably going to try to get these up on YouTube, like, around each other. So that people who, you know, couldn't watch the stream aren't forced to watch the VOD. So I might, there might be some multiple uploads tomorrow of this. Uh, but yeah, uh, that is it. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you want to play this for yourself... Actually, hold up. I want to say something because I'm curious. How many... Yeah. God, how so I just want to point out I put chapter three on Mediafire because I heard that Mediafire lets you count how many downloads your thing gets. This you guys have somehow downloaded this already. There's already 218 downloads. How the fuck? I don't know how there's already 218 downloads on this goddamn file. Jeez, man. People were waiting for a long time there. I guess they were. But yeah, um, that is it. Hope you guys enjoyed. Went down this yourself. Link will be in the description below. And yeah, this has been Zero. Peace. I'm a chef, chef to me.